to say that there isn't a responsibility and an obligation for your leaders to stand up and say, no, this is not acceptable, this is not the right behavior, and this is what I've been doing my whole life, it is standing up to this type of, of, of inf this nonsense. And you know, when I was growing up here, that was a thing that we were taught every single day. When you see an injustice, you stand up against it. When you see hatred, you have to speak up. Because if not, you're telling them that it's okay. And so this campaign is going to be aggressive. It is going to call out the radicalization. Look what's happened here in the Miami-Dade Republican Party. Look what's happening here in our state. And nobody wants this. That, that this state has become radicalized and has become a safe har harbor, for, harbor for, for these individuals. And we need leadership in Tallahassee to denounce it, to be strong, to show allies um, on both sides of the aisle, um, whether it is the Catholic Church, or whether it is the NAACP with the Jewish community, all of us, the Muslim community, the Asian community, we're sitting at round tables talking about interfaith and interracial relationships. And it goes also back to education that if we aren't teaching people to accept and getting over you know, the, the ignorance out of this, then you're gonna to continue to see the hate. And so this campaign and who I am is gonna be shown every single day that I will not sit back. When we saw that the swastikas in, in Fort Lauderdale last weekend, where was our governor? Where has he denounced the Nazis that were protesting in Disney or Orlando? In fact, his press secretary called out saying, do we even know that they're Nazis and they're not Democrats? That has to be a change in leadership at the top. And to know that you've got a governor that is never going to be quiet, that is never going to be silent, and is never going to protect these individuals.